My name is Gabrielle. I am from Bali Bay, originally born in Lithuania. I'm interested in art. I'm looking to go into doing animation as a course, animation illustration, something more digital. Seems to be my way than something more, more traditional in a sense. Possibly tattooing as well. It seems to be a big thing coming up now. A lot more people are going into it, so that could turn into being like a wee side thing for me, maybe, hopefully, at some point. <laughs> Well, I had an art teacher that originally went to NCED and she had a couple of friends actually went to this course. I don't know their names exactly, but they did say that it was a course they like, were allowed to try out a lot of different things. I usually want to do pencil drawings, so I usually tend to do a lot of drawing with pencil or pen, just kind of focusing on that. But with this course, I was pushed out of my comfort zone, which I really do like. I do like being pushed out of my comfort zone and trying out new things. So I started using a lot more, like, making a lot more crafts than just pencil drawings. Like I made this hanging piece here, which I used with lino and embroidery, things I would never have used or never made before. So that's actually one of my favorite pieces that I've made by far. Probably gonna make another couple of these just as wee gifts or something. Also, uh, we did a couple of pen drawing briefs, which then I knew that a lot of people use tattoo machines and they put pens inside them to kind of like that pointillism style. And then we somehow managed to get our hands on a tattoo machine. So we ended up tattooing a couple of oranges there, putting that to use and making that whole piece itself, which is actually quite interesting thing to use as well. Me want to go on tattooing. It was a good start in testing it out before actually throwing myself into the big world and throw myself under the bus really. <laughs> Doing the submissions and juggling the course, it's not too bad as everything we're doing in the course, we can put in the submissions. All of these items and all these pieces I've done were a part of the briefs that we were given in the course. So whether it be in the drawing module or whether it be in the digital image and processing one that we did or communications or whatever it might've been, com combined materials, everything can go into our portfolios can be pushed in in some shape or form we can incorporate it in to work the portfolio anyway. Uh, I don't think I'd be able to, would have been able to do it myself. It does you do require a lot of different I wouldn't say different people's skills well you know in a sense yes other people's skills but their inputs and them talking about their career giving you advice on how to do things. There's also the thing of you wouldn't have the certain materials to test out the other things I've done, like I definitely wouldn't have been able on my own to try out line. I wouldn't have even gotten the idea to do this or the tattooing the iron. Just I don't think I would have gotten my hands on the tattoo gun. I personally would recommend taking on a course that does guide you through your portfolio just to make it easier for yourself and a bit less stressful. And just you not only get guidance, but you get comfort from it you find out that you actually really like what you like doing, you're good at it and you get that guidance and comfort as well as a reassurance that this is actually the way you need to go, that is something that you're good at. Uh, yes, we had a sign writer come in, Harry Cleary, which was a good opportunity because we did get to look at him showing different techniques, whether we can use it with pen, pen paint and all. We also have a couple more coming in. We have ceramics coming in. I think we have etching and stuff. So it's a really good opportunity and a very exciting thing to be able to be part of. I'd say we have really great facilities and equipment there. We have a large range, so you don't really have to buy anything yourself. It's all there for you to try out. So whether it be a projector or a printer, you can use a lot as well. We have different cutting machines or lino, a lot of different paints to try out. So nothing really has to be bought yourself. Everything's there for you to test out. You're not limited to any certain amount as well as if there's something that you really want to try out, you can request it and possibly the lecturer could try to get it in for you to give it a go at some point. It's really good. You do have a computer room to access if you do want to try out some digital pieces. So it's all there for you to try out at any stage of the course. Uh, I would recommend this course to current leaving search students because it isn't one of those courses that is very crowded. So you do have your freedom and that breathing space to still socialize, but also if you need to, you can distance yourself for a wee bit and give yourself that wee bit of space. You also have a large studio, which is not too crowded for yourself, new different materials to try out. And once again, it's not too far off. You're not in a big city. It's not hardly accessible place. So you're really in a good spot to try out new things. 
you're also in town so there's like shops and all for food. <laughs> I'm trying out new things that I wouldn't have made myself actually do. Every day is a different day, although it seems you're in the same building, the same room, you're just doing something different. Every day is a different experience, whether it be like you drop a bit of paint or you have a bit of a catastrophe with something, it's still a bit of a laugh. It's a good, it's a good experience. I'd say maybe the drawing brief for us, although it says drawing, we are kind of drawing on different materials. I do draw a lot more than I do craft. So it is kind of a comfort zone for me. That's why I'd say it's my favorite one. But I am trying drawing on different materials or drawing and then cutting it out in different shapes. So it's a bit of experimentation still, although it's my comfort zone, so I do enjoy it a lot. I was kind of looking into going to IDT to do animation, to study that there. I really like that college, so it was kind of just once I saw it, I was like, yeah, that's, that's kind of my goal. I definitely feel very prepared going in now. I feel like I have a lot done and there's still a good bit of time left towards the submission day. So there's still that bit of time to create a lot more pieces to be able to submit and make my portfolio whole. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm ready for it. This is my notebook or sketchbook from the course. I've used, I've had this notebook before, but I'm just kind of filling it up, trying to get the book full of just my process through the year, trying out new things. These are just a couple of the drawings I've done. I tried out lino print, so that's what this really is. It's lino print. Things I wouldn't have tried out before. This is the mind map of me planning out what I'm gonna be doing as a theme. It's a bit of a mess, but that's what they like. It shows your planning process. These are the first couple of pages of planning out what I'm doing. Did some wire, we're doing a wired project. And these are the pages for it, so I'm testing out wire there. And then doing one line drawings is kind of to imitate the wire. We continued on to do a bit of embroidery, which I ended up doing a wee little practice piece and then used it there for my final piece as the heart. Some stenciling there, other trying out other materials, other different mediums just to use for my project or just overall as a tester and trying out new things. <laughs> 